No shortage of diplomatic tension today between Israel and the United States, so much that Israeli officials are publicly saying they're eager for the Trump era in Washington to begin. And as we've been discussing, it got even more tense yesterday when the U.N. Security Council voted on a measure to condemn Israel and its settlement construction policy. The United States declined to vote, and the measure passed. Aaron David Miller is our global affairs analyst. And Aaron, I have to say, I love talking to you about the Middle East because you've worked for uh, administrations going back a few years, sat at more negotiating tables than you probably want to count, trying to work through the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. So I leave it to you to give us some context here. How significant you know, is it that the U.S. abstained yesterday? I mean, I think it's very significant, uh, not since the 90s. And there have been quite a few resolutions in which the United States has actually been quite critical of the Israelis under Democratic and, and uh, many Republican administrations on any number of issues, from Lebanon to Gaza to Jerusalem to deporting uh, Palestinians. But under the Obama administration, uh, the record, frankly, and that's the paradox here, has been quite extraordinarily positive. Mm -hmm. The administration has essentially come to Israel's defense in international fora. But I, I think this is clearly a change, and it's a change at five minutes to midnight, which makes mm -hmm. this less than four weeks, Dana, until we have a new president. My, my own sense here is that this is a migraine headache, frankly, frankly, for just about everybody, if you consider it. The UN, you just heard Lindsey Graham, the UN may lose uh, a significant amount of funding. Uh, the Palestinians are gonna suffer as a consequence of this if Congress uh, reduces uh, aid to them. The Israelis interceded uh, both with uh, President-elect Trump and um, Egyptian President Sisi and, and couldn't turn this off. And the Obama administration is being mm -hmm. hammered uh, mercilessly yeah. for introducing a resolution that is fraught and will probably have precisely the opposite impact of what they intended. If they wanted to constrain or restrain Israeli settlement activity, that's not mm -hmm. going to happen. And well, our they, policy yeah. is going to be confused. Yeah, I mean, they say that they didn't introduce it, but obviously by not vetoing it, they allowed it to, to go down, down, down uh, or to, to, to be approved. But I want to ask you about something that you mentioned, which hasn't gotten a, a lot of attention, uh, given that the focus has been about this resolution, which is that the Obama administration helped uh, fund Iron Dome, which does help protect Israeli citizens and has proven to be effective in, in recent years. Uh, just had a, a huge aid package, like $38 billion, I believe, if, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but even with all of that, there is this personal animosity between President Obama and Prime Minister Netanyahu. How much is that what this is about? I mean, I think it's a factor. I, I think what drove um this relationship to be probably the most dysfunctional and unproductive of any Israeli prime minister and any American president, mm -hmm. uh, certainly in my experience, mm -hmm. was, yeah, personality differences, but also driven by fundamental differences in policy. I mean, where mm -hmm. you stand in life has a good deal to do with where you sit. And mm -hmm. uh, the president of the United States on issues relating to how best to promote Israeli-Palestinian peace and Iran has a fundamentally different view than the current Israeli prime minister. So yeah, I think it was a soap opera. It was a soap opera from the beginning between two guys who uh, clearly didn't admire one another and who were wrestling almost from the beginning over fundamental questions relating to American interests and Israel's national security. And I think what you saw at the end, frankly, after eight years of soap opera was quite fittingly more soap. And I think it, it, it almost had to end this way in my judgment. Hmm. Fascinating. Always great to talk to you. Aaron David Miller, thank you very much. Happy Hanukkah to you.